and welcome. Today we're going to be looking at a program called NetHogs to install it on a Debian-based system. So if you're on Ubuntu, Linux, Mint, Debian, uh, or any other Debian-based system, you're going to use apt or aptitude or apt-get and install NetHogs. Uh, and if you're on some other distribution, use whatever package manager you like. Uh, but install the package NetHogs. I've already done that, so I'm not going to do that again. And you'll have to be sudo uh, or root to run this because it needs permissions to basically monitor your network card. You don't want just any application doing that. Uh, but once you run that, it's going to start this up. And what it's going to do is give you a breakdown of applications on your computer on what processes are using the network. Currently, I'm connected to a one of my servers through SSH and some information must have just been transferred. And I also have Chrome open so you can see that it has processed that there. Let me go ahead and um, open up another shell here and I'm just going to do a wget to test.com and uh, and then I'll just pick that to dev null but you'll see when I run it it shows up there as wget and gives you the process ID and it tells you what user ran that process and on what device network device it's being used if I run that command again wget you know same exact command it's going to show up as a different uh, item in the list because it's a new process. I started a new process, but still you'll see that the user that's doing it, what uh, the program is that's ran it, on what network interface, you know, what's been sent and received. Uh, and now let's go ahead and go down um, and open up Chrome here. I'm at my website. I'll just type in Linux. And as you can see, Chrome all of a sudden the uh, information sent and the information received went up. So you can see real-time traffic, the speed of what's being sent by which process. So if for some reason your system is being bogged down, this is one way you can see, you know, that I've shown you other ways to look at your network traffic and you can see how much traffic you use. This program lets you break it down per process. So if some process is in the background for some reason just eating up your network traffic, you can find it in here pretty easily. Um, it gives you the process ID so you can kill it. Uh, you, it lets you know what user is running it and of course the, the program name. Now, let's look at some uh, options for this. So, Q to get out, oops, sorry, gotta get in the right shell window here. Q to kill out of that. Let's go ahead and make this full screen. Of course, you can always go into the man file man uh, net hogs and there's very few options for this. One of the main things you might want to do is set a device. So if you have a uh, wireless card and an Ethernet card, or maybe more than one of each of those, uh, you can specify, 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 specify. You can specify um, which device you want to monitor. Uh, if you leave it blank, I believe it just monitors all of them. I only have an Ethernet card on my desktop here. Um, but that way you can narrow it down to device. The only other real options that you might really use here is you can uh, set up how often it refreshes and how it sorts the traffic. Um, very simple tool, but can be very useful for troubleshooting, definitely. Um, I do thank you for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to check out my website as we were just at. And as you can see here at my website, you can search through my videos from all my channels. Arduino, if you want to see Arduino stuff. Um, do I have stuff on motors? So motors, uh, Python, and it quickly searches through all my YouTube videos on both my channels. Uh, you can also, you know, the about section really just doesn't really say much. Software will bring you to a link to my GitLab page where you can go through my GitLab projects. Uh, scripts on Pastebin, right? That's what this brings you to. Oh no, scripts on my web server. These are just scripts that I have running that you can go and play with. You know, they're mostly, you know, uh, HTML and JavaScript stuff. That's why they're there. Notes is a way to search through my Pastebin account. Uh, so you can do that here. You can type in something like bash wget, oh, it's supposed to be wget, um, and it will filter out word by word, and then you can click on one of these, and it will bring you to that script on Pastebin. So yeah, check out my website. Uh, shell, of course, is a shell interface. I did a video on that. If you don't like using a web browser, or you like using a text-based web browser, or you just want to use wget or curl to search through my videos and my website, uh, this is how you do that, and with instructions on how to use it. Uh, RSS feed, if you use an RSS reader, support. Support, yeah, um, you can support me using Patreon. Patreon.com forward slash MailX1000. Link in the description of the video. Uh, or donate through um, PayPal. 
uh, and then contact right now. Ain't that great. I've uh, been using Freenode IRC for years and they've been having spamming issues for the last like two months. So it's basically unusable. I've tried changing settings uh, in the channel, but I don't want to block new users. Um, I don't know. So I, I have to look more into that and they need to look more into that. And I don't know. I might look for other options. You have any recommendations on, um, on some sort of way to communicate? Let me know in the comments below. So I've rambled on, uh, you know, the tutorial's three minutes and now I've been just talking for about two. So I guess that's about it. Again, I thank you for watching. I hope that you have a great day. Like, share, subscribe, comment. Boop.